Ladies and gentlemen, believe it or not, I read just about every single comment that you guys write. And the second most asked question that I get is, what is your opinion on buying versus renting? So in this video, I wanna answer that question, but I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Augustine, you said that's the second most asked question you get. What's the most asked question you get? Well, the most asked question that I get is, are you or are you related to Mark Ruffalo? And the answer to that question is, of course, no. I personally don't see the resemblance, but apparently a lot of people do. Now, buying versus renting. Before I talk about that, I first want to just talk about my philosophy on money. Now, I practice something called financial minimalism, which means making intentional choices with your money that align with your values. The idea is that you're using money as a tool to bring value in your life. So instead of using money as a means to buy something, you're using money as a tool to bring value in your life. So when it comes to this question of buying versus renting, I come at it from the standpoint of what brings me the most value in my life. And I think the problem with this question is that it's so financially focused as if finances are the only thing to consider. And I think that when you live an intentional life and try to make choices that bring value in your life, you have to look beyond just the finances of it. So instead of approaching this topic from what is better financially, buying versus renting, I wanna come at it from the financial minimum minimalist standpoint of living intentionally and doing things that bring value in my life. So I want to talk about 10 thoughts of buying versus renting by a financial minimalist. Like and subscribe to the video. And my first thought is a good financial decision isn't always a good decision. You know, I think that one of the big problems that we have in our society is that we think that when something is a good financial decision, that it's a good decision, but I just do not agree with this. For example, in my early 20s, I did a lot of traveling. I went to 35 countries around the world and I grew a lot as a person. And if instead of traveling, I decided that I was gonna save the money and invest it in the low cost index fund, then that would have been a much better financial decision. But would that financial decision, would that better financial decision mean that it was a better decision? 100% no. As a financial minimalist, I use money to bring value in my life. And sometimes that means a good financial decision and other times it doesn't. If you run the numbers of buying versus renting, buying a house might be considered a much better financial decision. But does that good financial decision mean that it's a good decision? Not necessarily. So no, when it comes to buying versus renting, a good financial decision doesn't always mean a good decision. So do what's best for you, not what's best financially. And my second thought is that there's more than just one way to live in this world. A big part of financial minimalism is simply just living with intention. And when I think about this topic of home buying, I think about how ingrained it is in the script that society gives us to live our lives by of go to college, get a practical degree, get a practical job, buy a house, have kids, retire by 65. Home ownership is sort of a symbol of the American dream. It's the idea of the white picket fence with the perfectly manicured lawn and the two and a half kids that we're all working towards. But not everybody wants the exact same thing. There's nothing wrong with this script, but if you don't want it, there's more than just one way to live in this world. So I think it's important to challenge society and ask yourself, do I want this because this is what I want? Or do I want this because society is telling me that this is what I want? Whatever decision you make of buying versus renting, it's important to just choose it intentionally because there's so much pressure from society to reach certain milestones at certain ages. But ladies and gentlemen, there is more than just one way to live in this world and we don't all have to do the exact same script. So choose what you want intentionally, not what society is telling you that you want. And my third thought is that it's more than just a financial decision. As a financial minimalist, I use money as a tool to live life how I wanna live it. So whenever I make a decision, I don't just consider what's best financially, but I also consider what's best for my lifestyle. The topic of home buying is so financially focused, but people don't consider the lifestyle aspect of the decision. I mean, take the finances out of home buying and what is it? It's a lifestyle choice. When you own a home, it's yours and you can do whatever you want with it. Take the finances out of renting and what is it? It's a lifestyle choice. You have less responsibilities and more mobility. 
they're both lifestyles. And so I think you have to consider it beyond the investment aspect of it, but you have to consider the change in lifestyle as well, because financial minimalism isn't just about making good financial decisions, but it's about making intentional decisions to live life how you want to live it. When it comes to buying versus renting, I think that it's just as important to consider the lifestyle aspect of it just as much as the financial aspect of it and how do you want to live your life because at the end of the day, it is a big lifestyle change. And my fourth thought is that value means different things at different phases in life. As a financial minimalist, I like to use my money to bring value in my life. And the interesting thing about value is that it means different things at different phases in your life. For example, as I mentioned, I did a lot of traveling in my early 20s and that brought me a lot of value. But now I'm 29 and I don't wanna do that as much and it doesn't bring me as much value. You know, I think on this journey of life, We'll go through different phases where value means different things and you just have to decide what is valuable in your life. Right now, I'm 29 years old and I prefer to rent because renting brings me a lot of value. I love the freedom of mobility and not having a lot of responsibilities. Maybe in five years, stability and ownership will bring me value, but currently that doesn't. So when it comes to the topic of buying versus renting, I think that it's important to define what phase of life you're in and what value means to you. And my fifth thought is that debt is debt. In the topic of home buying, you often hear the terms good debt and bad debt and how some forms of debt are better than others because they're considered investments. But I think that at the end of the day, debt is debt because when you're in debt, you owe something to someone. No matter what type of debt that you have, it still means that you owe something to someone. You can't just tell that person or that bank that you don't want to pay them anymore. And the average loan for a mortgage in the United States is 30 years, and that's a long time to be consistently paying towards something, and that can affect your lifestyle a lot. So I think it's important not to rush into that decision because at the end of the day, debt is debt, no matter if it's good debt or bad debt. And so as a financial minimalist, I decided that this phase of my life I want to avoid debt because I don't want the responsibilities that come with good debt. And when it comes to the topic of home buying, I think that it's important to remember that debt is debt no matter what type it is, even if it's an investment, because debt means that you owe something to someone. And my sixth thought is that money shouldn't dictate all of your decisions. Financial minimalism isn't about letting money dictate your life. It's about living intentional life so that you can use money as a tool to live life how you want to live it. And so I focus on managing my money so that money doesn't dictate my life and my life's decisions. I simply just respect money and then it respects me back. And I honestly don't care if I'm missing out on an amazing opportunity to buy a house because that's not what I want and I'm not gonna let money dictate my decisions because money is important, but money isn't everything. And I think that if you let money dictate all of your decisions, you base all your decisions off of money, then you're missing the point of what money actually is because money is just a tool to allow you to live life how you wanna live it, but money in itself isn't anything. And I think that when it comes to the topic, of buying versus renting. As I keep saying, it's bigger than just a financial decision. You can't just let the finances dictate your life because at the end of the day, money isn't real. And the seventh thought that I have is that home ownership isn't the only type of investment. One very influential book that I've read in my life is called The Simple Path to Wealth. And in that book, the author J.L. Collins refers to home ownership as a lifestyle choice rather than an investment. And the reason he says this is because when you buy an investment like a stock, you can sell it at any time you want with just a click of a button. But when you buy a house, it's not that simple. There's the closing, the moving, and then at the end of the day, you still need another place to live in. You know, I think that home ownership is an investment, but I don't think it's the only type of investment. I mean, you can grow your money simply by buying into index funds, a low cost index fund. And so as a financial minimalist, I choose to invest to grow my money, but I choose investments that suit the lifestyle that I want. And I think that when it comes to buying versus renting, you have to remember that there are multiple types of investments and home ownership isn't the only type of investment. And my eighth thought is there are pros and cons to both. There's often the argument that renting is just throwing your money away, but I don't think this is true. I think that there are pros and cons to both. When you own a home, you have stability. You can do whatever you want with it. You are putting your money towards something. 
When you rent, you have more mobility, less responsibility, and less commitment. It goes back to what I said earlier. Value means different things at different phases of life. And I think there's pros and cons to both, but you just have to decide what phase of life that you're in and choose the one with the most pros. And I think that when it comes to home buying, you just have to know yourself and know your situation and figure out what has the most pros and choose that one because there's pros and cons to both. And my ninth thought is that there's more to life than just making a profit. I think that no matter what you do in life, whether that's start a business, start a YouTube channel, or buy a house, the reason has to stretch further than just profit and money. You know, in the United States, we live in such a profit-driven society where money and profit is the answer to everything. And I think that what happens is that when you allow money and profit to determine your success, it just becomes this never-ending race to keep up and impress others. So I think that whatever decision you make, buying, renting, it has to stretch beyond just the investment or the profit aspect of it because there's more to life than just making a profit, ladies and gentlemen. And my 10th and final thought is that the best investment you can make is in yourself. You know, I wanted to approach this topic of buying versus renting not from a financial perspective because first off, I'm not that smart and I don't think I could do that. But the other reason is because I don't think that money is everything. And I think the biggest investment you can make is in yourself. And I think that you just have to use money as a tool to do that. And that could mean a lot of different things. That could mean buying a house, that could mean renting. It could mean a lot of different things. And I just think that use your money to do what you want with it, not what society is telling you that you want. With that, thank you so much for watching. Mi nombre, Agutin. No vemos, chico.